from Diamantes Bar. We have one of the people who eventually are amateur boxer. Let's start it with you. How are you feeling with, you know, achieving this? I'm super excited. I waited six months for this. I might as well lock. I forgot about this because it took so long. And then uh, I was at one of the fights and they told me about it. And I, I got super excited again. So, like, it's good. I'm, I, I, it's hard to talk. Like, I'm super excited. I can't wait to do it again this year in January. And then have another one. Hey, tell the fight fans, you know, what's the, you know, the feeling achieving something, you know, um, right now in the, in, the, in, in the beginning of your career as an amateur honestly, boxer. This, this is just like, it's just metal. Like, the fight is the most important part. Like, the journey to the fight, and then you get your hair raised. This is, this is nice, but like, actually winning, like, getting your hair raised, it, it, it feels better, in my opinion. Did you ever thought that it you were... Nice, though. Did, did you ever thought that you were gonna come over here, like, so far in order that, you know, one day probably we would yeah, see you as a pro go professional farther, boxer? Actually. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm gonna go way farther. Like that's nothing, but it's, it's nice to look at. I, I know, like my brother too. We, we gonna have world championship belts. Um, we gonna have all types. We gonna have all the cars, all the riches, all the everything. That's just the start. Definitely, you know, it's something that in the beginning of a career, or every amateur boxer, is, you know, started for something. This yeah. is a ring. Probably yeah. later it's on, come start. medal, it's a good start. Word. gold medal, uh, golden gloves coming soon. You know, I mean, hey. Wishing you nothing but the best. Thank you. Let me just go with your brother. How you doing? How's everything? Uh, everything is good. Um, this is a real. Uh, it was a real journey of um, getting here. Um, it was a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, but uh, my coach and my brother, you know, they pushed me through it, and uh, we got we got the win and we got the ring. There you go. Same question that I just asked you, brother. I mean, how's the feeling? You know, like working hard. You know, probably I'm assuming going to school or yeah. things like that. In order to achieve, was, you know, something it right was now. Really hard. It was really hard. Uh, the, tra the, tra the most part, you know, the training was the, the hardest part. You know, making weight, uh, staying on, making sure I go to the gym every day, and uh, just stay focused. That's the that's the hardest part. But I think the if you could do if you could get through the training, the, the fight is easy. Um, me and my brother, we we both won it. Uh, that's a, I think that's an accomplishment for, for both brothers to win at the same day, same time. Um, I, I, I don't go lie, sometimes when you're going through a lot of things, you don't really think you're going to make it. But I'm just happy uh, uh, I got the win. And uh, I'm glad I'm here today uh, getting this. Hey, definitely, you know, congratulations for your brother, for yourself too. I'm pretty sure, you know, both of you, you know, are a uh, role model for family and also friends because eventually things out of you know on the street they're not good but seeing your person as an amateur boxer dedicating and of course always you know pursuing dreams i think you are the great example for many young athletes and many youths out there so eventually congratulations on that so the credit also goes for the coach because eventually i mean the coach takes time you know nothing that sometimes behind the scenes we see it so let us know, you know, how you feel having two brothers, working with them. Oh, I feel awesome. I, I, I don't even know, words can't even express. You guys, make, they make me proud. I fight with them every day, uh, training with them every day. These are my, I don't have any kids. These are my kids right here. Um, I can't even, I, words can't even express. I'm really proud of them. You know, this isn't a special event. Um, I normally don't come out to events like this, but this is for them. I'm definitely gonna come out and support them, and I want them, you know, I want to see their accomplishments. And it's just only, a, you know, it's only the, the start because they're just scratching the surface. They're still young, you know. Uh, they're still more to grow. Now they're elite fighters. They were novice before. Now they're going elite. So now the training is gonna get even more intensified. The sparring is gonna be more intensified. Yeah, the competition is gonna be more intensified. So, you know, from here on forward, I told them this is just the, the scratch of the surface. Now we gotta break through and go even further. All right, everybody, you know? good night. Thank so, you. We'll see where this takes us. I, I, I see prosperous things going. I think them two are gonna be, watch, it's gonna be more to come. Definitely, we're gonna keep an eye on both fighters and, of course, yourself. And I have to, you know, say congratulations for you, both. Uh, and my respect for you because. Like I said, sometimes behind the scenes and behind the camera, we don't see certain things that eventually you as a coach and the fighters 
they put it together, they cry in tears, blood, sweat, all of that. Sometimes we don't see it behind the, you know, the cameras. And I'm glad to, that you express yourself to the audience and boxing fans and everyone. What message would you like to deliver to the bike fans and audience and everyone? Uh, always listen to your coach. Don't, don't listen to nobody else. If you're a boxer, you love it coming, always listen to your coach. Your coach got your best your best interest at heart. Everybody's gonna tell you what to do and what other things to do, but your coach knows you, your weaknesses and your strengths, and he'll tell you the best thing. So, always listen to your coach. Thank you so much. Wishing nothing but the best. And Thank for you, you, Coach, message that you would like to add it to the fight fans, um, audience, and everyone? Well, for the youth out there, there's always hope for anybody. These kids came out of nowhere, and I've been working with them for going on three years, and they took everything by storm right now. So, you know, they're in our cloud nine, and we're just trying to break through even further than that. We're not trying to go backwards. We're trying to go forward and make them succeed, and, you know, hopefully these guys are living with them. Exactly. Um, wishing for my behalf, you know, so much success in both of them and of course yourself. Thank you. Um, before we wrap it up, what message would you like to deliver to Fight Clans, friends, say, family, and everyone that will tune in this interview? I want to say God is the greatest. Um, coach is always right. Everything Coach is wrong. Slap yourself. And um, follow my Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube, everything Left with Legend. And go see more of this. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, wishing nothing but the best for this uh, amateur boxers and of course the coach as well. Thank you. Uh,